We've all been there. You've gone through the entire monster manual and cannot find the big bad evil guy for your one shot or campaign. Then screw it, let's make our own. So first you're gonna need to start with a concept, but at this point you probably already have one since you can't find a monster that fits your needs. In my case, I've been working on a one shot which I've been sharing over a series of videos. In this one shot, children have been captured and have disappeared for a few days only to turn up asleep at the edge of a forest and the townspeople are unable to awaken them. So we need a culprit and that is going to be the Dream Eater Queen. And here's how we're going to make her. First, you're gonna to wanna to start with a base stat block. Why? Because this will save us time, and time is something of a hot commodity among DMs. Plus, it's easier to start with a stat block and build on it and edit it than it is to start from scratch. I'm building an enemy that feeds off of dreams, but I also needed them to be able to control larva for reasons. I found a few enemies that were close, but not quite what I was looking for. A night hag from 5e, a dream eater from 5e, and a carrion crawler from 5e. I took this dream eater one and used this for most of the base stat. I also kept a couple of the immunities, but not all of them, and I added an immunity to fire. It did need to keep certain senses, like dark vision, since this is a creature that works during the nighttime. I also gave it some abilities that will affect the characters and make them have bad dreams. In this case, I'm going to make them a little bit confused as to whether this is a dream or reality. But I thought that this move might be a little bit overpowered, so I did decide to do it just once per day. I also added a rechargeable breath that also can do quite a bit of damage and poison our unsuspecting players. But the biggest thing that I added was lair actions. Now this creature that I'm creating is a boss, and it has a lair. This is where it's been taking children to hide them and feed off of their bad dreams. And the players are here in its lair. So that means there should be some sort of consequence. In this one shot, we want some consequence to happen if they are attacking at night. So one of the lair actions I've included was the ability for our big bad evil guy to heal its allies if it is nighttime. It is the most powerful at night when it can eat all the dreams. Plus adding lair actions makes the battle super cool and we want people to remember this battle. So this is for a one shot, so if it's a little overpowered, it's not the end of the world because they're probably not using these characters in a main campaign. Also, this is a queen. It's in her name. So we want her to be able to call some minions to her aid. But again, we don't want to overpower our players. I made sure that the enemies that they call in have a limitation to prevent overcrowding the room and destroying all my players immediately. Gotta let them at least try. It's time to determine what the CR level is. We can do a whole video on how to balance encounters and make sure that your homebrew monsters are balanced accordingly. For now, I know what I want my CR level to be. I want it to be around five or six. I'm going to adjust the AC and the HP, kind of bump it up a little bit. Once that's all done, you can throw it into a service like D&D Beyond and get a very beautiful stat block that you can print out and add to your journal. Finally, test this bad boy out on your players and watch them cry. Once you have a super... Once you have a super badass boss, you're gonna need a place to put them. Watch this video all about how to create a dungeon. Flinters, that's smelly! Why'd you have to poop right here?